Hello everyone. I welcome all of you to the India Metal Girl Department Daily Weather Briefing. Myself, Dr. Arul Alan. As on today, 25th May 2025, let's see the observed weather over the past 24 hours. Heavy to very heavy rainfall has been recorded at a few places over Kerala and Meghi, coastal Karnataka, Haryana. Heavy rainfall at isolated places over coastal Andhra Pradesh, Yemen, Kandidic, West Bengal, Odisha, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, also over the West Uttar Pradesh and Delhi. Extremely heavy rainfall has been recorded at isolated places over Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal, South India, Karnataka. Thunderstorm accompanied with the squally winds gusting speed up to uh, 80 to 105 km per hour prevailed at isolated, isolated places over Jammu Kashmir, Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, West Rajasthan, West Madhya Pradesh with a speed of uh, 40 to 80 kmph prevailed at isolated places over Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, West Uttar Pradesh, East Rajasthan, East Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Kandidic, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Meghi, Karnataka, also over the coastal Karnataka, coastal Andhra Pradesh and Nanam, Royal Simon, Telangana. Hailstorm observed at isolated places over West Madhya Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Ariana. Dust storm also reported at isolated places over West Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan. Heat wave and warm night conditions prevail in isolated places over West Rajasthan. Let's see the highlights. Further advance of southwest monsoon over some more parts of Karnataka, entire Goa, some parts of Maharashtra and some more parts of Misram, some more parts of Manipur and Nagaland today 25th May 2025. Conditions are favorable for further advancement of the monsoon into some more parts of Maharashtra and South India also over the northeastern states. A well marked low pressure area lay over the south Madhya Maharashtra and adjoining area of Ma- Marathwada and north interior Karnataka. Heavy to very heavy rainfall likely to continue over the west coast during next seven days with the possibility of extremely heavy rainfall over Kerala and uh, coastal parts of Karnataka and uh, also got area of Tamil Nadu during 25th to 27th May 2025. Heat, heat wave likely abated from Rajasthan f- from 28th May onwards. Advancements of the southwest monsoon. The southwest monsoon has further advanced into some more parts of west central and east central Arabian seas, some more parts of Karnataka, entire Goa, and some more parts of Maharashtra. Also, some more parts of west central and north Bay of Bengal, and some more parts of Misram, some more parts of Manipur and Nagaland today. The northern limit of monsoon passes through the 15.5 degree north to 55 degree east, and 15.5 to 60 degree east, 16 north to 65 degree east, and 16.5 north to 70 degree east, uh, they have got Belgavi, ha- Haveri, Mandaya and Dharmapuri, Chennai 15 degree north to 80, 83 degree east, also 18, 18 degree north to 87 degree east and 20 degree north to 89 degree east. As well Ko- Koshima also finally the 26.5 to 95 degree east and 27 to 97 degree east. Conditions are favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon into some more parts of Central Arabian Sea, some more parts of Maharashtra including Mumbai, Karnataka, including Bangalore, some more parts of Andhra Pradesh, remaining parts of Tamil Nadu, some more parts of West Central and North Bay of Bengal and some more parts of the Northeastern states during next three days. Synaptic conditions, the well-marked low pressure area over the South Madhya Maharashtra and adjoining areas of Marathwada, North India Karnataka persists at 8.30 hours IST of today and it is likely to move slow slowly eastward during next 24 hours and weekend gradually. The upper air trough runs from East Central Arabian Sea to North Odisha across Central Maharashtra, North Telangana, South Chhattisgarh between 1.5 to 4.6 km above mean sea level, also tilting southward with height. The western disturbance persists as a as on upper air cyclonic circulation over North Punjab and adjoining Jammu Kashmir at 3.1 km above mean sea level with a trough aloft at middle to middle and upper tropospheric westerlies with its axis at 5.8 km above mean sea level roughly along 75 degree east longitude and to the north of 26 degree north latitude. Also the upper air cyclonic circulation over west Uttar Pradesh extending up to 1.5 km above mean sea level persists. The upper air, cy- air cyclonic circulation over southwest Rajasthan and neighborhood extending up to 1.5 km mean sea level persists. The upper air cyclonic circulation over North Gujarat region and neighborhood persists and now seen between 1.5 km and 3.1 km above mean sea level. The low pressure area is likely to form over west central and adjoining North Bay, Bay of Bengal around 27th May. The maximum temperature recorded yesterday 
in the range of 40 to 40 degree celsius in many parts of rajasthan at a few places over punjab gujarat state in isolated parts of north madhya pradesh and haryana yesterday the maximum temperature of 47.6 degree celsius 47.6 degree celsius is reported at barmer over the west rajasthan forecast temperature it will be fall by about 4 to 6 degree celsius the maximum temperature likely over northwest india during next 24 hours and gradual rise by 3 to 4 degree celsius thereafter for subsequent 4 to 5 days no significant change in maximum temperature likely over rest part of the country let's see the weather warning for the day one as on today 25th may 2025 the red warning has been issued over the tamil nadu kerala and south india karnataka and coastal karnataka for the extremely heavy rainfall and orange warning has been issued over the Rajasthan for the uh, strong winds also for the severe heat wave conditions. Also the heavy rainfall warning has been issued with the orange color for the Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh also over the Uttarakhand. And the rest of the yellow color shows that uh, uh, heavy rainfall warning accompanied with the uh, rainfall, lightning and thunderstorm activity with the strong winds. And this is for the day 2, where it for the 26th uh, May. Uh, the red warning also persists over the Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka, South India Karnataka for the extremely heavy rainfall activity. And also orange warning has been issued over the Rajasthan for the severe heat wave condition with the strong gusty winds of 50 kmph up to 50 kmph. And also orange warning persists over the Bihar and the East, East Madhya Pradesh and then Maharashtra for the heavy rainfall activity along with the uh, lightning and gusting gusting wind the rest of the yellow color also indicates the heavy rainfall activity over the northeastern states along with the lightning activity and this is the uh, day three warning the red warning has been issued over the south india karnataka for the extremely heavy rainfall and then tamil nadu and then uh, north india karnataka and maharashtra heavy rainfall warning has been issued over with the orange color and uh, uh, over the western rajasthan Strong winds along with the heat wave condition warning has been issued with the yellow color and then over the Himachal Pradesh hailstorm warning also issued over uh, Himachal Pradesh with the orange warning. The rest of the yellow color shows that uh, uh, lightning and gusting winds, strong winds. This is a day 4 warning. Day 4 warning, orange warning has been issued for over the South India. Also with the for the heavy rainfall, very heavy rainfall activity over the Karnataka region including the Tamil Nadu and also over the coastal Karnataka region, Kongan Gova region and also the Maharashtra region for the day 4 and day 5 uh, for the day 4 Himachal Pradesh uh, orange warning has been issued over for the hailstorm activity also for the day 6 uh, orange warning has been issued over the Kerala and uh, South India Karnataka and coastal Karnataka and uh, Kongan Gova with the orange warning for the heavy rainfall activity all, uh, for very heavy rainfall activity and heavy rainfall activity yellow warning has been issued over the north india karnataka and then maharashtra region also over the himachal pradesh and the northeastern states along with the west bengal and for the day seven orange warning has been issued over the south india karnataka and then coastal karnataka and then uh, kongan Gova region with the orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity and then northeastern states uh, with the yellow warning has been issued for the heavy rainfall activity over the Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand for the heavy rainfall activity. And this is the fisherman warning graphics. It shows that uh, both the Bay, Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal warning has been issued for the squally weather with a wind speed of 35 to 50 kmph gusting to 60 kmph. Also over the Bay of Bengal from day 2 to day 5, uh, especially over the uh, squally weather with a wind speed of 45 to 55 kmph gusting to 65 kmph warning has been issued. Stay tuned. Thank you.